have to give a disclaimer for today. You never know what's going to come out of Spruce's mouth, and he has been talking to Mama all morning long. It is heat time. Heat time. And by talking, I don't really mean talking. I mean screaming. He's screaming. <laughs> Yelling. So our birds are starting to mate. Our does are starting to act pretty, well, they just- They're in heat. Love is in the air. Yeah. So they think, but what they don't realize is obviously nobody can do anything about it down here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But they still go through the motions and poor Spruce being as gorgeous and good looking as he is. Mama wants him. Mama wants her some Spruce action. <laughs> there he is. Well, <laughs> which end is that coming out of? <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know if he's annoyed or if he's flattered. He's like licking her head right now. Yeah, I think he's trying to court her. But the only uh, the only nuts on that body are hanging from his neck. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to KNS Get Out. Welcome back to the Funny Farm. Welcome back to Shady Acres, where you never know what you're gonna get. It's a different day every day. <laughs> I mean, how could you not think that's attractive? I mean, of course it is. The funny thing is, Ouija kind of controls this situation. See how he's standing here just watching closely because he thinks Mama is his girlfriend or something along those lines. But Mama clearly is interested in Spruce. You see that mouth right there? That is heat mouth. <laughs> That's what we're going to call that. Heat mouth? Heat mouth. When we had Mario here, or even now without Mario here, when the does urinate and they're in heat, they do it in strategic places to kind of flirt with the males. I don't know. Uh, but a lot of times they stick their snouts in there and come up and make that little heat face that Coop is just doing over and over again. I don't know. The attitudes in here are so different when they're like this. Yesterday, we were doing our evening feeding, and Miss Blue... Hi, kiddos. We're talking this morning, huh? Miss Blue was right here at the gate. I mean, wanting out. And, you know, they are of age that I could begin to get them out. They would be okay. <laughs> Spruce is going to talk to like this whole thing He's like her today. face. Hey, man. We got stuff to talk about, dude. <laughs> huh? What? What? He's like, yeah, I'm talking about it over here. The weird thing is, is like, she, this is what she wants. She's <laughs> leaning into it and they're just flirting. So how old did we say the babies were? The goat babies, the goatlets. The goatlets, they are right around six weeks old, I believe. Okay, so once a doe has had her goatlets, gets them raised up anywhere from like three to six weeks, she goes into heat again. So when I let her out yesterday, we got a little bit of footage of it. It was crazy. You guys have seen Blue. If you've been with us for a while, we've had maybe one or two videos where we've seen her go into crazy blue mode. And yesterday was one of those days. And it was challenging to get her back in her nursery when she was done. She got moves, man. Oh, honey, that wasn't the most graceful move ever. Herc's down there, sweetheart. She saw Herc was doing in Goatville. She sprinted up here. Hey, lady, I'll get them out. They're not ready to come out yet, honey. So you either go back in or... She's like, 
Hercules, be nicer, bud. Good boy. Herc. Parkour ninjas. <laughs> Do you want to go back to him? She's actually making some little spruce noises. Yeah. Spruce is like, I, I, I kind of forgot where we were on the pecking order before you went and had triplets. Do we got to start this over, Blue? Hey, Blue. Hercules, be nice, buddy. She going to smack the snot out of you. <laughs> Yeah, she's gonna smack you. <laughs> Dropping them coffee beans. Herc. Good boy. That's a good boy. What do you think, Bluesy? What do you think? It's okay. Are we having to start all the way back at square one, honey? Please tell me no. Herc. Herc doesn't like her uh, trying to tell Spruce how it is. Good. Look here, Blue. You've been gone for a while, so let me tell you how the new rules work. I rule, you drool. Going back to school. Learn something, lady. I'm spruce. <sighs> I put on a few LBs since you were gone. Yeah, try push me. You're okay, buddy. Got to clean your poo off of there because uh, you're going to get all nasty dirty doing that. Thank you. 
What's up, Daisy girl? It's okay. She's not going anywhere. She just wanted to get out and stretch her legs for a little bit. Well, excuse me. Get him from this side. He's sticking his tongue out. Yeah. <laughs> I wish he could at least hit like a good note or something, you know? Yeah. Like make it some good music or something. Her uh, hindquarters are a little bit swollen. Are they? Yeah, so she's definitely... That's what we're going through right now. So today is gonna be one of those days where Spruce is literally gonna talk all day long again. Well, once we get her, look, he's a biter, man. Yeah. I have jokes and comments for that, but we're not going into it. Oh my gosh. Well, Coop, I guess he won that one. Yeah, honestly, whenever we got blue out, we left the babies in the nursery. Watch out. We left the babies in the nursery. <laughs> <laughs> We're I just going to get out of the way and let Spruce talk about everything in this video. Yeah, I don't know that you're going to get a word in today. But I don't think Blue realized how much Spruce has grown since she's been in there raising her goatlets. And so they came out, and Blue was kind of just squaring up with that. <laughs> she was squaring up with everybody, and uh, I don't know, kind of reestablishing pecking order or something. And her and Spruce spent a lot of time horn to horn, and she I don't realized think she expected him to be as bigger than her. Yeah, she's craftier, shiftier. She's she's more strategic in her style and the way she hits and the way she uses her. I would Body say she's mass. more athletic. He is a wrecking ball. And like, she can't push him. He's just too thick. <laughs> so it was really funny to watch them go head to head. And they were okay. I mean, goats aren't gonna hurt each other when they're full grown like that. But uh, plenty of sparring. Oh yeah. And of course, Hercules found out she was up here. He was down patrolling Goatville. That didn't go well, did it? He's gotta put her in her place as well. So we get to start all over with getting Blue reacclimated with everybody whenever it's time to get these babies out. All right, let's get some uh, goat feed and see if everybody will be a little bit calmer. Yeah, like He's that. like, yes, please. That's my good boy. That's my good Hercules. Yes, a boy. All right, buddy, I'm gonna go get some food, okay? <laughs> It's like Luigi is there to take care of it if it doesn't go the way he wants it to. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, he totally stepped in between them. Spruce ain't scared, man. He knows. He's like, dude, mama's flirting with me, Luigi, not you, me. So sorry that I'm gorgeous and you're ugly, Luigi. Oh, I'm not ugly. I'm, uh, I'm pretty handsome. Hey, where, where's she going? <laughs> you guys ran her off. I can only imagine what our neighbors think because this morning as I was getting ready and as I had Bruno out getting him taken care of, Spruce was screaming so much. I actually had to listen for a second and think, is there a woman outside screaming? <laughs> you, it just, it is what it is. I have to admit, if I heard a woman scream like that, I would still be equally as scared. 
<laughs> Man, what's your deal? What's your deal, mister? Something is wrong with mama. What's that Weezy coming? <laughs> Darn it, stinking name, man. Come on. <laughs> Mom, mama, mama. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Are we gonna hear that, that all so day? so loud. <laughs> we may have to separate him. Our first break in this song. <laughs> I was ready for an intermission. <laughs> you only thought you were getting an intermission. Can we go in here and eat like normal goats? <laughs> I don't know, Spruce. Have you ever been a normal goat? <laughs> <laughs> Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Larry and Harry. Come on, kiddos. Come on. So the uh, dandruff duo, or the twitchy twins, the poor guys with the lice, we're still kind of dealing with it. We did the diatomaceous earth Good job. Got the word right. And the sulfur and the little concoction and all that. We did that three days ago now? Two days ago. I think it was just two days ago. And so you've got to let that work a little bit. But as you can see, poor guys are still dealing with it. And it's very tough to watch. You just feel bad for them. And Harry's definitely got it worse than Larry, but they're both suffering from it. The nice thing is you guys are the best. So many comments, so many emails that we haven't even had time to go through all of them. But a lot of advice has come in, and I think there's been a lot of solutions you guys have offered. We obviously don't want them to spread to the other goats. In fact, when we got Blue out yesterday, I got nervous because she spent a little bit of time kind of sparring and playing with Larry and Harry, slash telling them like, hey, I'm your mom, but don't have to do mother duties anymore. But they, of course, were interacting, and I don't want her to contract lice and then take it in there to those goatlets. It just wouldn't be... It, yeah, it'd be terrible. I don't want more goats to have it. So thank you guys so much for all the information. We are continually going through it. <laughs> what you got? Mom, don't show everybody where I'm going. I gotta put this in a secret location. Very top secret. Even the goats don't know where it is. Looking for that hiding spot, aren't you? Gosh, you're so cute. It's so funny because he knows right where each and every one of his toys, oh, all of them. bones. In fact, if you look in that little hole right there that he actually kind of disguises as not a hole, but it's an ankle breaker, I think he keeps a golf ball in there. Unless he's relocated Unless he's re it. Nope, it's down there. I ain't reaching in there yet. I'm not reaching in there either. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> it's hidden. Yeah, I think we had a, a previous before we owned the land, somebody liked to use this as their driving range. <laughs> so we have come across quite a few golf balls and Herc finds them better than we do. And so then we find them in holes. I can only imagine, I literally can't imagine. We'd have to go back through like two years of footage. Oh my gosh. To know how many toys and bones and things. He doesn't destroy anything. He doesn't eat anything all the way down. He buries them. Yep. And he goes and gets them later and moves them around. It's a fun game for him. That's what he's doing in the background. <laughs> yeah. And now that we know where it's at, I bet you a dollar he goes back and moves that in oh, about five, ten minutes. Absolutely. By the way, we are still working on Bruno and Hercules's interactions with each other. This morning when I was out with Bruno, he came down after he chased the birds. We we're going to work on that. He did <laughs> chase the birds today. Then he decided he wanted to come down and see Hercules and say hi. And it was pretty stinking cute. Herc did really, really well. Bruno didn't stick his head in the gate or in the fence or anything like that. He just stood on the outside and they kind of had their moment and it all went very smooth, I felt like. Yeah. I think, you know, a lot of times when we have Bruno out up here and we're hanging out with him, Herc will come to this corner over here and watch us, you know, and he's got, he sad faces a little bit, but he does. you come down here. I mean, he's still, this is his pin. We got him out yesterday, took him on the trail. Yeah. Honestly, when he's outside of the pin, just like when Matt came, 
when he's on the outside of the pin, it's a different Hercules. Yes, yeah, it's this border. It's you give him a job to do, you put him in here, and he takes his job very seriously. That's at other humans or animals outside the pin. Burying his toys. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> when we get him out, you know, that'll be the way, definitely like just like with Matt, that'll be the way that we acclimate him to Bruno. And maybe someday Bruno could come in the pin for a second, but maybe not. At this point, I kind of feel like Bruno's going to be an outside the pin dog because Herc's got this pretty well under control in here. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought, you know, initially, and we talked about with you guys, I, I thought that maybe we would get Bruno acclimated and in, in here for Hercules. I don't think he needs it. I don't think he wants it. I don't either. He thinks he's so much like a goat that I don't know how different he realizes he is. And so... <laughs> When he wants to play, he can get, you know, spruce, he can get Ouija, he can chase these guys. Like, I know, it's less than ideal, but they play with him, and he plays back, and it's it's what he wants. So, I don't know. And Bruno and Shannon kind of have this relationship. It's like she spoils him or something. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know. And so, uh, I think she wants her little Bruno a little closer to her throughout the day. Not always. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what the crate training is for. <laughs> I would like to get him either like a perimeter fence e-collar. You, know, you can draw on GPS an actual perimeter and you can put it along your property lines or you can put it on the inside of the wood line. Right now, because he's just a little puppy, he doesn't have any protection against fleas and ticks and all that stuff. So we keep him as much as we can. We keep him out of the leaves, out of the weeds, out of the sticks. And... Uh, <laughs> And we do regular checks on him. And we tick check him every five seconds. I thought if we left her in there that uh, we'd have a few minutes of silence. Yo, yeah, what wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Golly. You know what? He's eating those minerals, though. That's where. That's what's in that bowl. She's not saying a word. She's not doing anything but standing there, and he can't help but talk to her. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. We opened Mama's gate back up because Spruce was banging on the panel. So, the talking back in action. Hi, Lizzie. Hi, kiddos. They've done some work on these stumps. Like the eating of the bark and yeah, whatnot? Yeah, stripping the bark off of them. What do you think, man? Herc said, Spruce, shut your mouth. Oh, I forgot I came in for a purpose, not yeah. to just love my okay. goatlets. <laughs> I mean, you can, but I wanted to get him some hay. You gonna let me pet you today? Well, you were just in rare form yesterday, weren't you? Yeah, she kind of got a little bit of a crazy streak, and whenever I let her out, I mean, she acted like she wanted to get out with everybody, and she did. She went right out. But she was just in rare form. Hi, Daisy girl. Hi, Mr. Earl. I am so sorry that that's what you have to listen to all day today. Earl Man is definitely old enough, he's agile enough, he's intelligent enough to get out. I could have him out with the other goats, no problem. Uh, this little guy on the other hand, he's, he's good, he's just, a, he's just smaller. So we're pretty close, they're actually younger than Harry or Larry or Lil Mario or Koopa whenever we brought them back in with the group, but I, I think because everybody's familiar with each other, better so than we were even when the others were born, I think we're going to be able to get these guys out a little bit earlier than we did the other four. But we just want to make sure that, you know, Spruce, it's honestly Spruce. I've, I've seen Ouija with these little guys and he does a pretty good job. Spruce, you know, he sometimes has a point to prove in case you haven't noticed. So I just think both Blue and Mama are in heat right now. She's over here smacking her gate like she wants to come back out. Hey, please don't do that. And of course, you know what's going on over here with Mama and Spruce. It's just that time of year. And honestly, we had Mario when we came into this season last year. And so, you know, it made a little more sense, I guess, because we had a buck in the crew. But I wasn't really sure how this would pan out. And right now, Spruce is over here making it super weird. 
obviously not going to be successful in breeding her whatsoever because all these goats have been banded. They are not equipped. So in one year, we went from two goats to 11 goats. In That's one year? That's some goat math. Yes, in one year. One year ago, we only had Mario and Luigi. And then in April, we got Spruce, Mama, and Blue. And then really? look at all the babies that we've had. Yeah. Boy, what kind of... Boy, Spruce, you're making it weird. They're just, I mean, spring is in the air. Yeah. And they are in rare form. Herc doesn't like whenever she uh, bangs on the gate unnecessarily either. He is not even remotely who I'm concerned with about getting these goatlets out. He is actually really good with the goatlets and when he's broken in there or when they've broken out he doesn't he doesn't bother the goatlets whatsoever he's after blue he doesn't like her attitude and they just like last time when she had larry and harry and then she rejoined the whole crew they had to rebond if you will and by bond i mean they had to learn to stay away from one another <laughs> or she had to learn to stay away from him they'll come back to it normalcy will be Restored. Yeah, I say that. I look over. Spruce is making it super weird with Mama, so I, I feel like I can't say the word normalcy. So what we might be doing today, or what I might be doing, I may have to get some of these goats out. We got a lot of stuff greening up on the property, and it is beautiful. The problem is, Goatville, with as many goats as we have, it's about an acre of land, which is technically, if you're going to pasture your goats, I think they recommend about six to eight goats per acre. And because we have all the trees, the rocks, and the hills, it's not really pasture. That's not, you know, it doesn't produce enough. That's why we feed the hay and the grain. And we've got to start utilizing our land. And as things are greening up, we need to get these guys out, let them stretch out, let them graze and eat. Plus, you know, I could only imagine how stir crazy you get when you have goatlets like this and you've got to stay in this, you know, 20 by 20 pen or nursery when you're used to being out here and having the option to go down, wander about and all that. So I'm not trying to rush the process of getting the goatlets out and getting them acclimated and everything, but I have to admit, it'd be a whole lot easier on us. It'd be a lot easier on Blue and everybody else after the initial everybody's out party that will happen. What a good sheriff. <laughs> he really is. Come here, Bubba. There's my boy. Oh, I just love this guy. I'm so proud of him. I, I really feel like he's doing a great job at understanding us with Bruno and what we're doing, you know, and he oh, knows yeah. what his role is and his job. And as long as he gets the love, that we give him every single time we feed or sometimes just come down and give him randomly, he's fine with it. And I know as long as we keep training that little guy right and we get these two familiar with one another, they are going to have a blast on that trail one of oh, these yeah. days. Because little Bruno, that dude's battery is getting more capacity every day. He is learning new tricks and speed every day. He's getting fast. He's getting very fast. So I'm trying to trying to collar train him he doesn't love having the collar on but just a regular old collar i'm not trying to e-collar him yet he's too young for that but uh we want to start getting him acclimated with his collar so that we can add a leash into the mix and you know just keep him on the right track <laughs> yeah I, I don't think he's very sad <laughs> there go your birds where my birds at Probably running off to the neighbor's house. Those birds are something else. When we were out working on the trail yesterday, I think I was on the tractor at the you moment. You were on the tractor, and yeah. And you were like, hey, got my attention and just pointed. And they came and found us out in the woods. If that tractor's running, they want, they're mad at me if I don't come get them when it's running. Cause it they, was really funny. They just love that I could tear up the dirt and I could find the bugs and the worms. And yeah, it was, they stay right there with us. It was awesome. Can I can I get your food, buddy? He says my food is not really what I want, Dad. You know yeah. that, right? I'm pretty amazed with the Lucky Seven. That's what I call the pack of guineas, the Lucky Seven. I'm amazed at how much land they cover in a matter of 
30 minutes. Oh, goodness. I mean, they'll Two be, minutes. Yeah. They're so fast, and they just run on those little bitty legs and feet, and it's like, well, they'll be at the neighbor's house, and then all of a sudden they're in Goatville, and then they're up at the camper, and then they're up at the run, and then they're down at the front of the property, and then they're over here at the goats again. I mean, they are just yeah. everywhere. I think they covered about 35 or 40 acres yesterday in under five minutes. They were so I mean, fast. I, I can't remember what you and I were doing, but we were up here, and we heard them over here, and it was just this surround sound effect. And they weren't close. I mean, they were like on the edge of our property going all the way around us. Next thing you know, boop, here they come out of the woods. Yeah. It's like, hey guys. Pretty sure they visited both neighbors yesterday. Yeah. I want them to stay here and just eat our ticks. <laughs> our ticks are coming. We've seen more and more every day. Yeah. But those little guys, they are, aside from their mating that they're doing now, they're doing a little mating. So I'm hopeful that means we have eggs soon. I hope so and they mate just as fast as they run. It's done. It's very quick. <laughs> it's weird. Everybody's finally calmed down. Mama got what she wanted. Spruce got her. <laughs> yeah, honestly he did. And I mean, now they can hang out together. He hadn't said a word in quite a while now. Since they did the dirty. Herc texted me this morning before we came down and told me, he said, hey, I want to be the star doggy in this one. All about Herc in this one, huh? I'm okay with that, Mommy. I work hard, you know. I know you do. Golly. You're adorable, Herc. I love this guy. He's a good boy. He's my good boy. Yeah. Oh, big stretches. This foot's been in the water, hasn't it? <laughs> I feel that. I think he wants me to pick him up and hold him like I do Bruno. Yeah, good luck with that. The only time that happens is when he gets in trouble and leaves the property, and I'm not a happy camper when I'm carrying this guy. He's a solid mass. He says, but I love you. <laughs> All right, guys, well... It's always something going on over here at Shady Acres. <laughs> you hit me. So sorry. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, if it's not mice or lice, it's spruce screaming like a girl all day long. Yeah. It is what it is. No big deal. Just hope the sheriffs don't show up later and think that we're harming children or something. <laughs> Golly, yeah. Well, I'm gonna enjoy this beautiful weather. I believe the wind is supposed to pick up this afternoon, but I think all throughout the week it's supposed to progressively get a little warmer and a little warmer each day. It's kind of all over the place, but it's between 50 and 70. So in my book, that's good. Oh, for this time of year, good. Uh, yeah, we've had two feet of snow this time of year. I don't yeah. know when or how many years ago I'm making stuff up, but I know we've had a lot of snow in March before, and uh, I will not complain about the winter that we've had. Right now. Now, this summer, whenever we have all the bugs, I'm sure you'll complain about it. Yes, but I will. Yes, right I now, will. we're not complaining. Yeah. Oh, look, by the way, I got the crack filled, so hopefully my wasp hotel won't be in business this year. I think I got it all. Great work. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I, I did wait for like a cold day because I really didn't want to be doing that with uh, wasp activity up there, but nobody came after me. Don't worry, I would have filmed it if, it, if they had. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to keep eyes on the lice, eyes on the prize. Hopefully we get some goatlets out soon. Uh, Bruno, we, you know, we just, why are we raising so many? Everybody's babies. They're all dependent upon us. Like Everybody's babies. They need us. I want them to become independent. I want them to move out. I want to have a day of rest. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. I was only halfway listening because I was watching Earl uh, lay down on the big stump over I there. I saw him trying to, and he slipped he off it. a couple times. His leg was twitching. He's sleeping? I think he's asleep. He was dreaming just a second ago. <laughs> what a life. I'm jealous. Except of where he's laying. That's stinky and gross. He loves it. He loves it. He's stinky and gross, though. He's absolutely asleep right now. Well, we'll let you know if uh, Mama's pregnant next time. 
some miracle, it would happen to us. It would make total sense that we've banded these guys and one of them somehow can get mama pregnant. Please don't even say that. Like, please don't even jinx us with that. <laughs> that won't happen. It'd be awful. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, somebody come and get those goats. Well, thank you so much for coming along on this journey with us. We love and appreciate all of you guys. And also thank you for all the comments of the advice that you've been giving us. We really do appreciate it. Yeah, very much so. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Good girl, Nola.